Previously, on What Remains of Edith Finch. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Okay. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Oh my god, Calvin, wait, wait! Whoa! And he did. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. A surprise and a Barbara Finch. She was going to be. Oh shit, oh shoot. Barbara Finch gave a performance. Oh shoot. God! Oh my god. What was that? Oh. Must have been the wind. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday, Barbara. Wait. Barbara is... really old, right? Compared to me. So has this food been here the entire... Okay, now that's real. Okay. So, this food has been here the entire time, question mark. Is that, is that so? Uh, huh. Interesting. Oh, a typewriter as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think that's good anymore. And that's a lot of candles. Oh. What was it? Seattle Star... Starlets? Okay, I can't move. Okay, that's the bed. There's her... Oh... Thingies? All right, let's get on out of here, I guess. Hello there. Wait, am I supposed to go back in? Or... Can I just go out the door? Or has it been locked? Oh, yeah, it's been locked. Right. Okay. Coming through. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Uh huh. Cause it had the key. Tanya, all those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Just had to keep on turning and turning. Okay, can't get go there yet. It's getting kind of dark. Okay. Let's go to the basement. To the basement. Okay, so just keep on turning it forever and ever. Let's keep on going, I guess. There you go. I wonder how the mechanism works. Oh, oh man. Oh god, okay, it's not gonna be that scary, is it? Yeah, there's some light. Oh dear. Hi. Hello. Oh my. Where's the crutch? <laughs> Where's the crutch with the blood? Boyfriend. <laughs> oh man. Cool. Man, all these ambient noises. Wow, it's a big basement. Oh, here are the wood things that they used to paint. They have quite a bit, huh? Already, although I don't know. I wonder. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Ah. I wonder what the mom's actual reasoning is. Hey, here's a dragon thing outside. The dragon slide. Cool. Up. Oh, there's a saw. I wonder if Dad actually cut his finger or Grandpa. Or whoever it was in the story. Interesting. Sven. Cool. I saw Let's Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Oh, I wonder. That kind of scared me a bit. It's kind of like, hey, the punching bag. Hi. What was Edie carrying? Why is mom hiding the basement? Oh, what's in I the fridge? Maybe she was hiding presents. She was Santa Claus. Oh God, what's in the fridge? Uh. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Whoa! What? No way, dude! 
dude? Secret, secret? Why is a can blocking this? Ooh, it's dark. I can't see anything. Oh my god. Lights, please? What the heck? Ooh. Ooh, it's dark. I remember oh. asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Oh, oh dear. Oh, uh. Who's Walter again? She said after Barbara died, he got as oh. far away as he could. Ah, the kid. The, the one hiding under the bed. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, stop it. Alvinos. Wow, work family's decked out. If there's all a pattern in all these stories. Walter's dead too. Walter means. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Ah, oh, sh that's sad, man. This place is still being powered. Oh no! This is Walter's place. Hold up, before. Oh. So Grandma Edie made one of each of those things. For all the members of the family that died, question mark? 2005, does that mean she, she was paint- Grandma was painting mine, wasn't she? Oh gosh, was she getting ready for the inevitable death of her granddaughter? What's here? Oh. Oh, that's kind of sad. This is really cool though, but damn. Make sure you get enough oxygen in here, man. Little train. Oh, Barbara's child. Oh, cool. He has a book of Barbara. It's a bunk bed, too. Aww. Oh. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. This is so cool. But where's the radio? Why is it so loud? Okay, I guess we'll find out. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, I can't man. believe I've been down here for 30 years. 30 years? Damn! On Whoa. the first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive the Whoa. The shaking? Is this when they asked the grandma to evacuate? Uh. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. Dude, Walter's voice sounds real good. Or is it, am I, I want, go on. That's what kept me saying. 30 days on the year? Oh, is that, keep going? Are you not done? Okay, come on. Having a schedule, living for today. Mm -hmm. Peaches? Oh. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. Damn. Okay. But if you wait long enough, you'll be used to anything. Whoa. 1976. I wasn't... I wasn't paying attention to the calendar. This is just eating peaches the entire time, huh? Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel warm. Oh my god, dude. No. How do I get signaled down here? Yep. Hey, hi, monster. Can I say hi? Oh god, I wonder how I'm gonna go. Hopefully I don't cut myself with the peach cans. And then one day, everything just... 2005? Stop. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Every day Maybe it's shaking? tired of waiting. Maybe I just got tired of being afraid. Huh. 2005. It's a week until I die. That's a lot of peaches. Please don't cut myself with that. What happened? It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. 30 years under here. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. 
Oh, man. So was Grandma bringing down packages for Walter? Because she knew that I was staying here the entire time? Damn. Aw, oh, dude. Okay. Oh, my God. This goes deeper? All right. Going down. Whoa. What the heck? What the heck? No. I know it's out there somewhere. What is it? What are you talking about? Whatever the killed Barbara. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's traumatized, scared. And Molly. What? And Molly? Oh, 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 is this... And Calvin. Oh, dude. Is this his depiction? Oh, no. His depiction of the family's curse? What is this? Is this a trash pile? Or is this just where I throw all my stuff? Oh, man. Maybe this is all a mistake. Oh, God. Oh god. Whoa, oh god, what am I doing? I'm just breaking down the wall. But Whoa. I need to stop living the same day. Whoa. Even if it kills me. <sighs> Holy shit. Oh my god, I'm going out. I'm leaving. Holy shit, I'm leaving. Is there something back here? Alright, you know what? I'm just going out. Oh no, how is this? Oh, this music is. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. Oh. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. Oh, after eating peaches for 30 years, yeah. I don't mind if I only have a year left. I. Wait, what? A month. Oh, okay, I thought he knew. A single week. Oh. I'd be happy with one year. Let's go. Oh no. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh my god. No! No! Dude. Dude. No. No. Walter died when I was six. No. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Oh gosh. Oh, Walter, ah. Oh, God. It's just that the juxtaposition of that soundtrack. The soundtrack was so warm and releasing and, ah, oh, for good reason. Oh, God. Oh, man. His, his depiction of, yeah, I noticed that. His depiction of whatever killed is killing off the family. Is... I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Oh God, uh, I don't know if I want to go out there. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's go. Oh, up, up. Damn. Is there nothing left? Walter's well, a crafty bloke, wasn't he? Man. They got a shower here and everything. And a microwave, so this is why Walter's room wasn't closed off. Okay, I, I understand. I see why. Although, I wonder what mom's reasoning for closing off the doors are. Is it because of the presents or the items they left behind? The things that they want to be left untouched? I don't know. Alright. Let's go. Oh boy. Ooh, watch your step, girl. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Ah. Uh, she's trying to keep away from the family curse. Oh, this place is kind of ravaged. Oh. But if Hi. she never told me about an uncle under the house. Jeez. The mole man. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the story. 
that grandma was saying that grandma gave an interview about a mole man living under the house it was a story of walter that's why mom was so mad Katie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the finch house my mom was furious <laughs> was it because wait was walter I can mom's only brother imagine what else she was hiding oh my wait 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 who's my who's my mom where's my mom wait so these are all siblings i would assume yes these are all siblings 1952, 1950. Okay, so these are all the siblings. Barbara, Molly, Mil... Okay, so... Uh, okay, I don't know how to read a family tree, my bad. My, my brain, small brain. But... So I assume Walter is... Where's Edie? Okay, okay, okay. So Walter is... The... Dot, the son... Uh, of Evie. And Walter was the mole man in the interview. And the mother was furious because she knew- I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Oh god. Sorry, 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 I'm sorry, Edith. I'm just like piecing all these stories together. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why mom was super, super mad that uh, Edith Sr. was giving out that interview. Ugh. Oh, okay. Damn. Dude, that's gross, bro. This smell is gonna go up to your room. Keep it closed, at least. But yeah, okay, so Edith was saying she doesn't want to make the same mistakes that mom made. Oh, hey, rice. Isn't that Japanese for komi? Yeah, I know my kanji. I'm learning, I'm learning. Okay, but, um, okay, so Edith doesn't want to re repeat the mistakes that mom made. Is that in keeping secrets and not telling the truth or to anyone? Because in, Edith, in Edith's mom's perspective, it kind of makes sense because of what Walter did, Walter's fear of the thing that's killing off the family one by one led him to be the mole man. And in the end is what ultimately got him kind of killed. So I guess that could be a justification for Edie's mom hiding this stuff rather than telling her about it. Because I, I would imagine if my mom goes like, yo, our family's dying one by one and you're, you might be next, I'm gonna be gone. You might be next, so yeah, I, I I can't I can't do that to my kids, man. I want my kids to live a normal life, so I guess hiding it would be would be a logical. Although like in the long term, it's not the best thing because eventually I'm gonna have to find out, and I think this is the reason why I finally got the key, because oh my god. Okay, wait, I have to get out of here. Okay, sorry the. The little creeps are really uh trying to bury something that's still alive. Oh god. Uh, woo! I can't see anything, by the way. Okay. Uh yeah, but now in Edie's perspective. Oh shoot. Maybe two. Two? Who's the other? Is it your brother that's just lo missing? Missing. Oh gosh. Dude, the mental toll of knowing that your family is gonna die off one by one because of some unknown curse? What the heck is that? Oh man, this is hard. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Oh god. And found out what happened to everyone else. Oh man. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Is it? Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. Oh, whoa. We made it real. Oh, shoot. Damn, Edie. That is true. That is true. I hear you on that. I hear you on that. Such a massive impending curse. That has... Not curse, but a fate. That has reeled with the family for centuries. That just the never-ending fear of that kind of made it feel like it was an actual thing. Maybe at the start it was just a bunch of coincidences and then as the family grew and folklore is expanded and evolved, it just became so much worse and... <sighs> Man. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, eventually I'm gonna have to find out and at this point, oh man, it's up to me and how I handle this stuff. Am I gonna believe this? Oh, am I gonna pass away too? Oh, man. 
Oh, there's where the train is from. Why are there chairs on the trees? <sighs> okay. Damn. Oh. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. And in writing this, she's already making her part of the story because each part, each member of the family has had a written... Whoa. Whoa, what the heck is that? Oh, that's a statue. That's a statue. I believe that's a statue. Yeah, each member of the family has a written account or something that they have before they died or before they passed away. And is this Edie? Oh, no. I'm playing Edie's story. Damn. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, there's so many chairs up here. I wonder what's that all about. There's chairs on the trees up there as well. Are those chairs? Yeah, those are chairs. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Oh god, Edie. No, maybe maybe you're the one that could survive? Although, uh, man, just... Whoa, shoot. Uh, the idea of continuing on this family, I don't know if... Yeah. Maybe but I if thought I you should know about your family. <gasps> oh my god. Wait. Am I writing this to Milton? Do I have a child? Do I have a kid? Who am I writing this to? Who am I writing this for? And the history you're a part of. Oh gosh. Do I have a younger brother? Do I have a younger sibling? A baby brother? Where am I going? Wait. Do I walk? Wait. Am I supposed to walk there? Am I supposed to walk there? That's like the only... Oh... Am I supposed to... Okay, no, no, no. Right? Yeah, okay. Oh god, I, I, I wasn't... I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to just dive into the embrace of the ocean. Oh man, that, no. Though to be uh, honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Oh man. Oh man, this makes me feel so uneasy. Oh, hi. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a nice place, a little canoe. Oh god, and. Oh man. Belly. <sighs> Damn, alright. Keep on going. Back up. It's the back side of the house. Look at the house. Yeah. That history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Oh. Any man. of it seems possible. Dude. Oh man. Oh, the big tree. Oh my god, the big tree. Oh, there's a big tree. Oh, this is the swing. Oh no, and it's still like... Oh, it's still turned over from when he... Oh no, this is the... Oh, this is the place. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, there's a big tree. I think and we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. Oh god, that is not one great thing to get used to. Oh man. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Oh gosh. Sorry, my commentary is probably hell annoying, but uh my my it's I'm having a mental breakdown. For me to admit this, but Oh god. Oh, this is the cemetery. The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Even the pets? Even the pets? No, not the pet. Oh man. Shadow. Is that the pet? Oh, Christopher. That's Molly's. Oh, man. It's Molly's fish. Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Oh, lerp. Oh, zerpy, lerpy, furpy, chirpy, and burpy. And derpy and derpy junior. Oh, my gosh. Oh, everyone's just dropping dead. Coco, Tucker, Charlie, Daisy, Lucy. 
So, uh, there's so much more unnamed ones in the back. Oh, gosh. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Oh, man. Edie is the longest lasting one. Edie is. Oh. Edie was the one that saw every single one of them pass away. And she was the one painting all of them as well. There's a little frog one here too as well. Is that the frog of the... Of the grandpa's first wife? No. Oh man. Oh. And Edie is the one mem... Memor... Me memorializing? I... Word? I forget the word. Ah, oh, Molly Finch. The cat. Oh. The cat. Calvin Oh! Oh! The astronaut! Oh, he wanted to fly! Oh, Calvin! Calvin! Oh my god! Sven Finch! Oh, the carpenter. Edie Finch. She was the longest lasting one, wasn't she? Of the original- of the old- oh man. Edie Finch, and she's also the one most recent one with the candles. Do these letters say anything? Is that a crowbar? Is that a crowbar? A crowbar with a book? Yes, it is. Or is that just a... No, that, I don't think that would be a crowbar. That would be a bookmark. Is it because she liked all these stories? Is this because the grandma liked all the stories and she would always tell me about him? Walter Finch. Oh, the mole man. Oh my gosh. And there's a... It's a little diorama. And that's him. He's in there. Wait! Oh, dude! He's in there! Oh, man. The man encased in stone. The one that broke free. Barbara French, the child star. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this family! Oh, man! Dude! I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Oh, Odin's in. Oh, it's just them. It's the first surviving. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, wait. This is not Odin's monument? Who is this? Odin is the first, right? Is that Odin's monument over there? Can I focus? Oh, oh, okay. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Oh, wow. The old house is still there? No way. They just left it there for all these years. <sighs> Damn. Uh, do I need to look at something? Do I go back? Is there something else I need to look Edie's at? Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. Uh huh. But the older oh. I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Oh. Ah. Gus Finch. Sam Finch. Gregory Finch. Dude, there's so many graves. Oh, man. Milton. Milton. Oh, he was an artist? Oh, he was the one that left all... Oh, he was the one that left all the... There's no end date on these. Sanjay Kumar? Who is he? Was he adopted? Sanjay? Because I see this name. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. <sighs> Louis Finch. 
crown. I wonder who Sanjay Kumar is. Sanjay! Uh. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Oh, man. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. <sighs> for me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Oh, God. It's mom's wish. Cause she, mom's just like, hey, I, I couldn't have the heart to tell you. It's it's time you found out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh! Hey, this is Molly's big tree, wasn't it? But looking I... back on it now. Yeah. What do you think about it, Evie? Should you have known earlier? What do you if think? If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Oh my gosh! That's why I have a belly! Oh, I, I should not be here! I should not be on this branch! No! Wait! I'm preggers! I knew! I knew there was something up with the belly because I had a belly! I have a kid! I have a kid! I have a I need to survive. Wait. Oh god, this changes everything! Why didn't you tell me? You tell me that you are pregnant as I'm watching on this one, walking on this one bra- Girl! Don't- you're gonna give me a heart attack, why? Oh my god, I was gonna laugh. You're cracking a joke, but oh god, I took it seriously. We're pregnant. I'm preggers. Dude, I should not be on top of this roof. Well, I guess 22 pregnants isn't that- Okay, it- okay, I can calm down. I can calm down, but still, ow. I thought I could climb that. Okay, okay, I should- Okay, calm down, calm down. It's fine, it's fine. It's just 22 weeks. I'm- I'm fine. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. <sighs> I knew it. I had a kid. I am having a kid. How old am I? Huh. You seem pretty young. They were both pretty intense. 